Hi everyone. Sorry, I'm a tiny bit late today. It's been a busy, busy day. I'm getting ready to go to a conference next week and so many things to do. Welcome to New Day, New Word. It's Friday and uh, our new series now. Uh, I decided to do using a book as a jump off point for our, for our new word, uh, our new thought. Because uh, a word leads to a thought and a thought is a wonderful thing to discuss. So. Um, the book that we uh, talked about last week uh, is now going to be the book that I'm going to I'm going to talk about now. We talked about um, uh, you know I can't even remember now the book we did last week, but this week I mentioned last week that we would talk about another favorite book of mine, <clears throat> which is called Pocket Full of Miracles. And again, I know this is backwards. But um, this is a book by Joan Borisenko, and I read this many years ago when I was uh, in uh, seminary, and it changed my life in so many ways. It just expanded my consciousness. Uh, she, she, it's a pocket full of miracles because it's a pocket book you can carry around in your in your bag, and it's a daily thing. It goes through the seasons, and, but what she does here, and the word that I want to focus on for today. Is, uh, is prayer. Prayer as opposed to meditation. Now prayer I think of as being my way of speaking to God or the divine or whatever you want to call that uh, some greater presence in ourself. Whereas meditation for me means listening to the guidance that comes from that uh, source. A greater source than uh, that we're part of. So those are the two ways that I distinct, distinguish uh, between prayer and meditation. In her book, she gives many, many different prayer forms and meditation forms, and it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, it, it just I cannot I cannot begin to tell you how many things you will learn about different forms of meditation, different forms of prayer. And, uh, and, and isn't it, I think actually for me, in my morning process, I start off with a prayer, which is kind of like, you know, dear God, I hope you're listening. Um, uh, you know, these are the things that are on my mind. Maybe you can help me out here. And then it devolves into this incredibly intimate warm place that I come to with with my connection to the divine and I become the listener I become the person who is open to all possibilities is open to all ways of you know whatever way uh, of being helpful being useful being a, a part of the greater whole so for me, that's what meditation is about. It's not so much about, as people tend to think of, emptying your mind, uh, although uh, there's a component of that because if you're listening to all that mental chatter, uh, that what I call junk thoughts, you really cannot uh, hear what, what um, the source is trying to you know, offer you. So that is a, that is a component, but it's not, it's not about making that effort to, you know, to push thoughts out. Um, which I go into in much greater detail when I talk about uh, my program in uh, tra uh, meditation training. But anyway, I wanted, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to share this little book with you, which was published back in the 80s, I guess, because that's when I read it. And, um, and just hope that maybe you'll take a look at it because you may find that it will just give you so much food for thought uh, and s so much help uh, in your prayer life, uh, in your meditation process. So check it out again, Pocket Full of Miracles, Joan Borisenko. And have a beautiful week. Uh, the sun is shining here today, which is wonderful. Uh, I feel like I haven't seen the sun in months. And so I'm going to go out and enjoy it. And I hope you do too. Many blessings. Bye-bye.